Um, today I'm going to speak about thoughts and I want to sort of share the awareness that the thoughts that we think are generated from our subconscious mind and the important, re the, the important reason to see the difference between the thoughts that you, see, you, you think that are churned out and being aware of those thoughts and how it can affect your life. Um, I want to share a little story with you. Um, I was running just the other day and I, I'm not a fitness freak. I love running and um, I do my best thinking when I'm running, but um, I'm, I'm anywhere <laughs> really not very close to being fit at the moment. Um, and anyway, so I was running along and this guy ran towards me and he was incredibly fit and you could tell there was energy in his stride and he looked quite muscular and he looked like he sort of trained every day and ran sort of 10 miles or whatever it was. So anyway, I carried on my little sort of run. We were running in opposite directions. So we sort of passed each other and I ran up through the fields and it's kind of like a, a circular uh, track that I do. And as I came back down the other side, I was getting quite tired by this stage and I was jogging along quite slowly. Um, and I suddenly had this thought that maybe he was also doing a similar loop and he was going to pass me. And my mind immediately showed me this picture of this sort of like dumpy, out of breath, um, you know, me. <laughs> And, um, and thank goodness for all the conscious stuff that I know because I actually almost just saw how it came from my unconscious mind as, you know, a picture that for some reason I've, I've stored away there of myself and um, I found it quite entertaining. Just how the mind comes up with these things, you know, where it suddenly brings these thoughts from. Um, and when you can see it as a subconscious conjuring, then there's less attachment to it. So instead of kind of getting depressed and thinking, oh my God, I'm not as fit as I want to be and I'm not the size that I want to be and all those wonderful, dreadful <laughs> thoughts that can take you down a, a wormhole, um, I actually just almost smiled to myself and thought, why do I even care what I think that somebody else is thinking of me? Um, and I suppose that's where it really goes, is this is the projection that I thought he would think of me if he was coming in the opposite direction. Now, knowing myself, I very rarely ever think of people like that. So why would I think that somebody else would be thinking that? I mean, it's just preposterous when you actually look at it. But the reason I'm sharing this is because when we believe these thoughts, they then trigger reaction in ourselves. So for me, it could have gone one of two ways. If I'd listened to the thought, um, well, the definite thing that would have happened with my day, would I would have felt a lot worse. I wouldn't have been feeling positive, that's for sure. I would have been beating myself up. I would either have tried to run faster and look really fit and healthy um, and try to sort of pretend to be more than I was, um, which most likely would have killed me. <laughs> Not really. And then, um, or I would have just given up and I would have started walking and thought, well, what's the point? Why on earth do I even bother? You know, I'm trying and I'm trying and trying, I'm just not getting anywhere. So I'm just sharing this with you because when we believe our thoughts, it can derail us and it can take us and push us higher or it can turn us off and, and make us fall and, 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 and say that we can't actually complete something. Um, but when you don't believe your thoughts, you can look at it, laugh at it and just carry on, which is exactly what I did with my run. Um, I ran on and actually I never even saw him, so the whole thing was irrelevant. But it just made me think that it's something I'd like to share with you. Um, and there's an exercise you can do to see your thoughts. And what you need to do is to close your eyes. Um, obviously, if you're driving, that's not a very good idea. Wait till you have somewhere quiet where you can do this. Close your eyes and just listen to your thoughts. So almost just be aware of the thoughts that pass through your head. Don't make any of them right, don't make them wrong, but just observe as they float through your mind. And the more often you do this, and this is why meditation is so incredibly important, is it helps you to take a step back and to see that you are not your thoughts, that you are a whole wonderful being that has nothing to do with your thoughts. And 90% of your thoughts is just from un your unconscious mind, which is just stored data and beliefs, not even your own. Some of them are your own, but some of them are passed on from your mother, from your aunts, from your father, from your grandparents, from society, from all over the place. Um, and then we live our life by these things. It's no wonder that so many people are confused. So anyway, that's my little blurb for today. Um, I hope it brings a little bit more clarity to your life. Have a stunning week and I'll see you again next week. Lots of love.